Hello, P6 students. Welcome to our today's radio learning program for science. This is a continuation of our radio programs produced by Rwanda Education Board with the support of UNICEF Rwanda. My name is Teacher Gerald. This program is organized so that we can keep our children in the learning mood, the learning atmosphere, especially during this difficult time of coronavirus. I am so happy to talk to the parents and guardians for their work that they have been doing. And I appreciate you for your meaningful support to the students and the program together. May you keep supporting this learning process together with assisting that is required of you. Thank you. Students, as we have always done, and I repeat, as we have always done, before the lesson begins, we need to get our pens. We need to get our notebook for doing exercises, for writing notes, and also for revision purposes. That is very, very important. And in your books, I needed to see good handwritings. Remember, good handwritings. Great. After getting the writing materials ready, may you sit near to your radio and tune it loud enough and be ready to listen keenly. My dear parents, may you make sure that the learners are doing the right thing. Thank you. Students, let us stand up to have a warm-up song. You know, songs put us in the mood of learning. Let us stand up and have a warm-up song. I will still sing the song two times as you listen. And when I say it is your turn, then you will also join me such that we sing for the third time. Understood? Great. Now listen to the song. This is the way, this is the way I wash my hands, I wash my hands Every day, every day Then I'm clean, then I'm safe This is the way, this is the way I wash my hands, I wash my hands Every day, every day Then I'm clean, then I'm safe Students, it is your turn to join me Let us sing this is the way, this is the way I wash my hands, I wash my hands Every day, every day Then I'm clean, then I'm safe Wonderful! Now, can you remember what we learned in the last lesson? Great! I like that. We learned about feeding of cows and goats. We learned about feeding of 
cows and goats. Now, which important information did you get from that lesson? Perfect. The important information that we learned was that cattle and goats should be fed on a balanced diet. Very great. Can you clap for yourselves? Good. Before we continue, let us listen to this important message. Need to quit you at Bruce Melody. Yeah, yeah, Murahone is a Mahoro Mahoro. The Bruce Melody in Konanim as a Kivuga, Hanima, you must have to go to the Zebucha. Niba, whatever you know, who fit to me, it's a general coronavirus. Changwa se ukabuziko harumuzi afite ibyo bimenyetso ukwiriye kumenyesha inzego z'ubuzima zikwegereye cyangwa ugahamagara kuri nimero rimwe rimwe kane kugira ngo muhabwe ubutabaza ubutumwa burabareba mugume mu rugo mu gintoki amagara araseseka nta yoro yuhu a wonderful message do you like it yes i also like it too Welcome back. Before we continue, I want you to think of these same same animals. The same same animals that we have been talking about. What are we still missing? Great. It is about their health and sanitation. Very good. And that is our topic of today. Cattle, health, and sanitation. Cattle or goats, health, sanitation. Can you write that at the top of your notebook? Parents, can you check to see if the students are writing that one down? The topic is cattle or goats health sanitation conditions. Good. Now, before our lesson objective, we want to stand up and then I want you to move and then respond like I'm going to instruct. I am going to give you some action words. And yours is to repeat them three times. For example, if I say jump around, you will say jump, jump, jump. Any action that I say you do, you repeat it three times, except when it comes to sanitize you will say sanitize sanitize twice understood perfect now stand up i will start then yours is to join very very fast three times like i've said jump 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 okay wash your hands wash 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 clean your body clean 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 sanitize your hand Sanitize, sanitize, stay at home, stay, 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 keep at home, keep, 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 work from home, work, work, work. Oh, let's do it once more. I want you to be moving, move, move. You can be dancing around the, 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 the room such that you feel relaxed, feel relaxed and move. When it is washing your hands, demonstrate you washing your hands. When you are staying at home, try, try to demonstrate that you are safe at home. Wow. I'm starting again. Wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash. Clean your body. Clean, clean, clean. Sanitize your hand. Sanitize, sanitize. Stay at home. Stay, stay, stay. Keep at home. Keep, keep, keep. Work from home. Work, work, work. 
Wonderful students. I like the way you move. Mm. Mm. We need such active learners. Perfect. Our lesson topic of today, as we had said, is cattle or goats health sanitation condition. Our lesson objective today is we will list down which sanitation conditions are necessary in cattle or goat farms. Our objective, we will list down which sanitation conditions are necessary in cattle or goat farms. Things that should be done to maintain proper sanitation in a goat or cattle farm include keeping animals' houses clean. Number one, keeping animals' houses clean. Number two, keeping feeding and drinking troughs clean. Keeping feeding and drinking troughs clean. Number three, clearing the bush around the homestead. Clearing the bush around the homestead. The next one, cutting overgrowths from the feet of the animals. Cutting overgrowths from the feet of the animals. Keeping water sources clean. Keeping water sources clean. The last thing is disposing of dead animals. Disposing of dead animals by burying them deep into the soil. When an animal dies from the farm, make sure that you do away with it by so taking it away, digging a deep pit, and then you bury it there. Great. Wow. Students, let's continue with our lesson. Now, let us see what we should be doing to make sure all the mentioned are effectively observed. Number one, we talked about keeping animals' houses clean. What do we do? Always, what do we do to make houses clean? Good. We sweep clean. Sometimes we wash. That is the same with the animal houses. We sweep it clean. We can equally wash. Keeping feeding and drinking troughs clean. Feeding and watering troughs should be cleaned regularly and disinfected to avoid some diseases. Feeding and watering troughs should be cleaned regularly and disinfected to avoid some diseases. Do you understand that? Perfect. Let's go to the third point. Clearing the bushes. You know where our animals stay? There are also animals that want to eat them. These are called predators. They are called what? Predators. Wonderful. In the bushes around our homes, there live some dangerous insects and predators. So, we need to clean the bushes to avoid the insects and predators. Keeping water sources clean. Where do you get water for your animals? Have you ever asked yourself that question? 
Where do you get water for your animals? Is it clean? Is the water clean? If so, that is what is expected. Keep that source of water very, very clean. The last point is disposing of dead animals. Disposing of dead animals. When an animal dies, you just wake up in the morning and then you find that one of your animals, one of the goats, one of the cow is dead. Oh, my friend, with a lot of quickness, take that animal a bit far, dig a deep pit, and then bury that animal immediately. That one will stop even the spread of some diseases that are airborne. Are we together? Yes, that is great. Welcome back. Students, to those who have the textbooks, may we look at pages 185 to 186 and keep on reading in your free time. This is not a time when we walk around. Keep on reading such that we keep on closer to our books. Parents, we are happy with you in your ways of making sure the children are staying safe. My best friends, students of primary six, until our next radio lesson, bye-bye.